after you've downloaded your Aegis Insight app. When it first launches, it's going to take you to the configuration screen where you can enter in the settings for your existing web server. And this can be your IP address or the web server name, your DSN. And of course, if you need to enable HTTPS, you can do that as well. For our demonstration, we're just going to put on demo mode. This is going to allow us to hit the server at Pages headquarters. Once we've entered in our settings, we can hit refresh in the lower left to bring up information for that time frame. Or if you notice up top, we can change the time frame to this week or this month, and it'll give us the key metrics for that time frame. I can pick on one of these metrics, like defects, and have it show me a chart of all the defects I have per the customer. Taking a step further, you can drill into the customer, the assembly, through each job, defect codes all the way down to part numbers, references, and connections. Each of these drill downs gives you an option for different configurations of what you can see. So for completed, I can go through and see what's completed for today. Go through that customer. Customer wants to know what's shipped. I can look at that assembly, see the work orders, and how many I shipped for each. So say a customer calls you up and wants to know, where's my product? You can bring up the active whip information to find the product for them. All you need to do is select that particular customer, the assembly that they're asking about, and it lists all the work orders you have open. You pick that work order of 50, and you can see where all the quantities are for each of your route stations. Now if you want to go a little bit further, you can go one step further and see all the serialized units that are there and how long ago they were scanned. So you got a report that there's a bad unit that was shipped to the customer. Well, just to find out what happened to that unit, you can bring up trace. And since we're in demo mode, it's going to default to one of our example barcodes. And it shows you the product information for that, all the WIP records, any material, defects, symptoms, and measurements against that particular unit. You also get a rendering of the CAD image that you can zoom into. Yeah. So say you get a panic phone call about a recall that needs to occur. They give you the, the part number and lot, and you can hit recall here. And for our example, we have a part number and lot, and it'll show you all the serial numbers that have been affected by that particular part number and lot. If you want to take it a step further and actually share this information with someone, you can hit the email button down below to email them all those affected units so they can pull that from inventory as quickly as possible. So once you've been done uh, demoing out the app, you can go back to the configuration in the lower right here by hitting that little I button. And I'm going to take it out of demo mode, and I want to point it to my web server. So I go ahead and click in the web server. Again, you can make this the IP address or the server name that you want to get to. You just need to be connected to the same network. Enter in the DSN. And in my example, I need HTTPS turned on, so I'm going to turn that on. And I can also change the theme here, so I'm going to change one of my themes to formal. And don't forget, if you have a chance, give us any feedback or comments at insight at ASCorp.com. Once I leave here, I can go ahead and refresh my screen. You can notice my theme changes, and I'm now connected to my web server.